Hello guys, welcome to my new Changing Impact video. Guys, we already know the 4.0 is very close we are currently in 3.7 and then we're gonna have one more update of simmeru and one last update that is gonna be the 3.8 then we're gonna get reveal of all the characters uh, it's the same as we got uh, get with the previous versions in azuma monster liu wei and uh, sumeru so now we're gonna get another reveal a small a small trailer or teaser where they sh will they will gonna showcase almost almost all fontaine characters that's gonna be very very fun and i'm very excited so what's what's gonna happen when fontaine drops no what's the meta change what's the new meta what's going to happen so we're gonna talk everything related to fontaine meta in this video so stay tuned till the end guys 4.0 is coming and meta is gonna change uh in 2.0 we got the meta of uh, electro and the energy recharge where every team is uh, is related to some kind of energy recharge we got the artifact set emblem which changes the game uh, we build our shang ling shen q and reading shogun and many other characters giving them the emblem emblem artifact the greatest artifact in the game in my opinion and then the sumeru came and we already know that dendro is something's gonna be related to elemental mastery and all and yes when the dendro came in 3.0 everything is just switched from elect energy recharge and electro to the dendro element and the elemental mastery elemental mastery again changed the game and i think dendro makes the games a little easy where you can trigger the hyper bloom bloom and they will give the capped high damage and where crit rate and crit damage doesn't matter that much so in this after the 3.0 the syndro and elemental master is going to be meta where pyro and cryo element uh, like they disappear somewhere now we already know hydro is always related to the hp percentage and i don't remember hydro having that much of dps character the child and nilo in my opinion these characters are the proper dps characters nilo and child in the game only the two characters beside that every character that hydro is having i think they are more sub dps and support character even in my opinion yelen would be a perfect sub dps character rather than being a more dps character so there are many character already in the game where we build those characters hydro characters on the hp percentage like Yelen, Nilo, and Kokomi. These three characters are totally be built on the basis of highest HP percentage. Then we are gonna get the our first, our own, it's not the first, our own Hydro Archon. And yeah, definitely Hydro Archon is gonna be related to some kind of HP percentage. So in my opinion, the meta is gonna be the HP percentage and the hydro and all the hydro reactions, vaporize, bloom, quick bloom, or electro charge. The thing is, or the freeze, of course. The thing is, what's the meta? This is not the meta. The meta is going to be roam around the HP percentage and the healers. HP percentage and the healers and the more support characters going to be the meta in three in the 4.0 that means the kokomi the beizu the yelan ye these characters gonna shine in after the update of 4.0 and many will come many support characters and more healers are gonna come in 4.0 so if you haven't got the baizu yelan and kokomi try to grab grab these characters kokomi is coming in 3.8 as for the leaks or the information and for in 4.0 yelan is coming so try to get these characters guys these are the very good characters and perfect a perfect match for the update for fontaine the 4.0 the hydro region i hope you guys like the video like the information there's a matter going to be around hp percentage hydro and the healing so guys if you like the video please hit the like button and guys subscribe guys subscribe my channel for more generation related videos in the future guys if you have any question anything you want to say comment below we'll meet in the next video guys till then bye bye take care